Mars Lady Luxe and today I'll be showing you how I achieved this look. Now this is part of my Dita Cardigan series and I was thinking about the iconic classic pinup makeup and I thought I would chuck a bit of a spin on it and do a bit of a purple lip. I've done a little bit of a purple through the crease and um, I just thought be a little bit fun, a little bit unexpected. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this look, please keep watching. So as you can see, I have already uh, put on my foundation and primer. I used Kat Von D's Locket Primer and Too Faced Born This Way in Pearl as my foundation and the Too Faced Concealer in the shade Fair. I've used Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade top on my brows and Laura Mercier setting power, uh, translucent power. First I'll be using Kat Von D shade and light eye palette and Napoleon Curtis brush 16. Taking the shade latest and I'm just going to pack that all over the eyelid. Next I'm taking a fluffy brush, any brush will do, and I'm taking this light brown shade called Samuel. I'm just going to sweep that through the crease. Just going to build up that depth a little bit more, taking it a little higher. Taking the shade next to that, I'm going to take Solace just on the very tip of the brush. and only placing the tip of that brush inside the crease just to create a little bit more depth. Taking the Serpentina palette and that same fluffy brush I'm going to be taking this purple shade Venom and now taking that through the crease and you just want to extend this color a little bit further Just taking a little bit more. Now this is a really easy eyeshadow look. Lay this again and I just want to clean that edge up. Now this isn't a cut crease, it's not as serious as that. It's just more of a classic sort of pin up look with a bit of a twist. If you go too high up, you can just take that brush and brush it back over to get rid of any of that excess eyeshadow. Taking my Jaclyn Hill Becca face palette and that same flat brush, I'm just going to dip into both of them and place that on the inner corner and over the brow bone. Just going to take that fluffy brush and blend those two together. Now the reason why I'm using more yellow based highlighters is because it's going to make the purple pop. So purple and yellow contrasting colours on the colour wheel. So I am taking just a little bit tad more of the yellow, which is Prosecco Pop. Taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Brush 12 and my Napoleon Protus Gel Liner in Yin, I'm just going to lightly load the brush and start lining my eye. So I'm creating quite a fat wing. And I'm just holding the outer corner taut. I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara and I'm just going to generously coat the lashes. So now that I've coated my lashes, you can see that there's a space between my liner and my eyelashes, so I'm just going to fill that in. I'm going to take my shade and light contour palette and my shade and light brush. 
taking this deeper shade subconscious. And I'm just going to contour it in the usual places. Next I'm taking these Ardell 406 accent lashes. Jaclyn Hill Becca face palette. Taking the light side of the brush and in Champagne Pop and what is this called again? Prosecco Pop. And I'm going to dust on my highlight. Taking Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Delirious, and I'm actually going to use this to line my lips. So I'm just using this lip liner as a base for my lipstick. on the bottom of my lip and I'm using my lip brush to move Next I'm taking Poisonberry by Lime Crime and it is a beautiful colour. I'm just going to load up my brush. Um, so I'm just going to go around with my concealer and clean up that edge. So that completes the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you found it. Uh, very helpful and I understand this is not the most traditional sort of pin-up makeup I thought I'd chuck a bit of a spin on it um, just you know amp up the volume uh, as far as color and I'm really feeling the purple these days uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is part of my Dita Cardigan series, so make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of my tutorials um, and you don't miss out on any of the videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and you can leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or any other looks you would like to see. This was the Lady Lux and I will see you.